distinguished faculty and administrators, jubilant graduates, and invited family, friends, and guests, welcome to the commencement ceremonies for the Lake Forest Graduate School of Management Class of 2011. My name is John Duova, and I am one of the class valedictorians. And I'd like to thank the school for the opportunity to briefly speak to you today. But before we look back and look ahead, I'd like to take this moment to personally thank all the members of the Thursday Night Social Club. Almost four years ago, on a Thursday night in August of 2007, a group of about 25 people came together for the first time to begin a long journey toward a common goal. And over the course of those four years, this core group of people, with facilitation from an outstanding group of educators, worked with and challenged each other to achieve, to achieve new levels of understanding, despite the fact that it seemed like every major snowstorm in recent years happened on a Thursday night. It was my pleasure to be in the company of these people, and I want to thank each and every one of them. Being locked into this track, I did not get to meet many of the other graduates here today. Not everyone was on the Thursday only four year plan. And to those of you who finished in only two or three years, wow, my hat is off to you. And to your family for putting up with it as well. So congratulations to all the graduates. Right now, I urge each one of you to close your eyes. Take a second and think back to those first classes. Remember that first presentation of Jabberwocky? Remember how you were? How nervous and uncertain? Now compare that person to the person receiving a diploma today. It feels like night and day, doesn't it? We are all recipients of the gift of knowledge. Treasure that gift. Appreciate that gift. But most importantly, use that gift. At the risk of understatement, let me say that when I started this program in 2007, the world looked a lot different than it does today. Little did we know how the economic environment and the business marketplace would change in just a few short years. Let's be honest, graduates, it's not all unicorns and pixie dust out there. It's a tough job market, and the big jobs of big companies are becoming more scarce. But you now have an advantage, because you have this gift of knowledge that you can use. So as you continue your career advancement, as you deploy these newly honed skills, please consider this proposition. If you want to become a CEO, the quickest pathway to the corner office is to hire yourself. Start your own small business. For those of you who know me well, you will not be surprised by this advice. For the last 13 years, I have been helping entrepreneurs for free to start running grow small businesses. And while it is not the easiest path for these risk takers, it is certainly one of the most rewarding for those who choose it. Some 99% of all businesses in this country are small businesses, employing half of the U.S. workforce. And please forgive me if I get a little passionate about this subject, but I strongly believe that this is where all the action is in the business world. I'm reminded of the famous movie, It's a Wonderful Life, which is really the story of how one small businessman can have a huge impact not only on those around him, but also on the course of world history as well. In one scene, George Bailey defends his hardworking neighbors, many small business owners themselves, by saying, they do all the working and paying and living and dying in this community. And this statement is true for the country as well. We need a vital, healthy small business sector so that all of us can succeed, no matter what we choose to do. All the real action, all the innovation, the working, the living, the paying, the dying, all that is not found in the boardrooms of corporate America, but in the blood, sweat, and tears of our small business owners. Is it the right career path for you? Only you can say. But you do have the gift of knowledge on your side. So as we look ahead today, I ask you graduates to once again close your eyes. And this time, imagine your ideal professional self some 20 years into the future. What do you see? Whatever it is, I venture to guess that your vision is wrong, or at least not fully correct. And why do I say that? Because your vision of your ideal self, your ideal professional self, is likely the culmination of numerous successes that you envision building one upon the other until you reach that ultimate destination. And yes, your successes are an important part of who you will become. And yes, you will have many successes as you use that gift of knowledge that we celebrate today. 
But what you can't envision right now are the setbacks that you will encounter along the way. Setbacks that will have a major impact on who you will become. Now you're probably saying to yourself, hey, you know, what's with all the failure talk? You know, why, why downer on such a, such a great day? My point is that while each success may push you a little farther down your path, it is your failures or setbacks that blaze the trail to begin with. How you react, how you use your gift of knowledge in those moments, will set the stage for the next round of successes. So don't be afraid of the future. Setbacks will come. Own them. Make them fully your own. Because they are critical elements in achieving your ideal professional self. Hey, anybody can own a success. It's easy. What's the old saying? Success has many fathers, but failure is an orphan. When all is said and done, the pathway to your ideal professional self is not a straight line. Because 20 years from now, when you look back, it will be an unexpected event. Maybe a failure or a setback that helped to set you to your new course. And there's no telling where it may take you. For me, some 13 years ago when my company was bought and jobs were forced out of state, I was forced to find new work. At the time, did I have any idea I would end up having a career in the small business sector and I would be standing up here today? No. But it probably wouldn't have happened any other way. Knowing what I know now, would I change anything about that setback? No. It's all pieces of the whole. Do I know exactly where I'll be 20 years from now? No. But I know that we all have the gift of knowledge from our time together at the Lake Forest Graduate School of Management. And that knowledge will guide us every step of the way toward our ideal professional self. So graduates, I wish you the best of luck and look forward to celebrating all those successes and setbacks we will share in the years ahead. Our time here was special. That specialness will never fade away. And on behalf of the graduating class of 2011, we would like to thank all of those who helped to make this day possible, whether faculty or family, administrators or acquaintances. We couldn't have done it without you. Thank you very much. And I got this.